What are you doing? Look over there. Morning, folks. Grandpa Adler Farms, how are you today? Oh, man, are you ready to go do some chores? Beautiful morning out here this morning. We finally got down into the, oh, my gosh, I think we're in the 60s right now. Oh, I'm seeing something I wanted to see. I'll show you in just a second. I'll tell you about it. Anyway, weather's gorgeous. A uh, big buildup here is this. I have something new that I wanted to show you. Some of you have been wondering when I was going to get one. All right. Hi, everybody. Yeah, you got out on your own. I'm so proud of you girls. Let's go open the door anyway. We're going to open the big door. We're going to still do that. Looks like somebody may be... Are you all out here? I didn't count. I think somebody's missing. Somebody not get the memo? What's wrong with all the rest of you, huh? You didn't get the memo. Uh-oh, sorry. Sorry, Ellie Mae. Come on, girls. Come on. Some of you sleeping in. Hi, girls. Hi, Nelly. How are you? Let's play the wormy game this morning. What do you say? Let's get it kicked off right. Let's get it kicked off right. One, two. One, two, Ginger. Ready? One, two. One, two, three, go. Dun, 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 dun. Who wants to dance with me? Come here. Dun, 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 that's pretty special. That was pretty special. New partner tomorrow. Ready? Here we go. Anything in there? No. No rats. Uh oh, you're in the water. It's early for a swim. Here, try that one. There's one. There's two. Get those. Get them, get them, get them. Ready? Let's try this one. Watch out. Watch out, Marianne. Anything in there? I don't see nothing. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. There's, there's a bug. You're missing it. I'm looking at it myself. There we go. Good job, Ellie Mae. Okay, here we go. One more. Oh, you know what? Looks like you're going to have to just settle for our, for our wormies out of the bucket. Let's do that. Let's just get our wormies out of the bucket here. Here we go. Is there any in the closet? Oh, look, there's one. He's still alive. Go get him. Get on in there. I got you. You ready? Here we go. Oh, some of you want to be hand fed, don't you? Huh? Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Goldie. Little red. Now, I have noticed, and I know you all have too, when I show my chickens, for those of you that are new, a lot of my chickens, they're missing some feathers, quite frankly. Some of them over hot lips over there. Looks like she's barebacked. I tried putting one of those little saddle dresses on her. Oh, it's been probably, what do you think, folks, five, six months ago? Those of you that watched me that long, maybe not that long. I put one on there for about a month thinking that the, the feathers would all grow back, and they, they have not, or something keeps picking them off. You know, we had a, a pretty aggressive rooster once upon a time. I thought he was doing it. They're, they're okay. They're not being abused. Ellie Mae's missing some little, got some little stuff showing on her on the top of her back too uh but for some of you looking at them like wow you you know your chickens look like they've been tortured or something you know but, but that's not just wear and tear by the rooster and then uh, i don't know if the other hens have been picking on them but the like there see her back right there missing feathers just ain't growing back but they're they're okay they're just uh just aren't growing back like i thought they would okay here we go girls all right let's 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 put a lid on this there's plenty of wormies for breakfast. Nelly, honey, are you wanting, huh? You want Grandma pet you this morning? Is that what you want? Yeah. Okay. Nelly wants a little petting. Sometimes we just need special attention, Grandpa. That's all. That's all. There you go. Okay, when we get splashed. While I'm filling up the water, I'm just curious, whatever part of the country you're from or wherever, wherever you live, you know what chiggers are? chiggers little bitty teeny tiny little red spidery looking bugs that come out in the summertime and they get on and they bite you and then they uh 
they make you itch once they bite you. Whatever they put on you, they, they, they make you itch. And I looked it up. Man, yesterday, I got attacked by chiggers. I don't know what I did yesterday that I haven't done, I don't know, in my whole 64 years, but I've never had chiggers so bad in my life. And if y'all have chiggers and you've ever had them, you know, whoo, I tell you what, they made it for a tough night last night, I guarantee you. I looked up this morning, I know all the remedies, I know all the, you know, what to do for chiggers and how to prevent them and all that, but I, I'm just trying to figure out where in the world I went and what I did yesterday that caused them all to jump on me. Terrible, terrible. I don't know how y'all combat them, but for what you do after the fact, man, these chiggers, they make you miserable for two or three days for sure before they die. It's an awful, awful, awful. That's probably too much information, isn't it? Grandpa and his chigger problems. Laverne, what are you doing in there, kiddo? Hey, Grandpa's gonna put this hay up. Okay, come on out. Come on, I think they've already got him. You're all right, come on out, daddy girl, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, now, let's walk around here to the back. Oh, there's a turkey egg. She hadn't laid one in a couple of days, and there it is, right there. There's the turkey egg. Now, I usually break them up and let them have the turkey eggs. All right, who's back here? I'm just gonna go ahead and break this up. Throw it down hard, there it goes. Little eggs for breakfast, little turkey eggs. Okay. So now here is why the chickens were out before the door opened up, the big door. You know, Chad had one of these uh, automatic door openers and it's called Run Chicken. I had another type of door that I was gonna put on, but it had a wire and you had to hang a wire up here. It took uh, four batteries and it kind of was, it was really gonna be a tight fit. He said, Dad, why don't you reach out to this fella? Peekaboo, somebody's in there. Hey there, girl. Why don't, why don't you reach out to this uh, young man and see if he won't send you one of these if you'll talk about it a little bit. Now, y'all know me. I don't do many videos and get things. There you go. There you go. Uh, that was Daisy. Do too many videos, you know, people, for people sending me stuff, you know, and, and, and do, you know, sponsorships, whatever you want to call it. It's not a sponsored video. It's just that, hey, he sent me this. I said I'd talk about it. And I love this, this door. There's no wires or anything to hang up here. Uh, it only has two batteries. Instead, most of them have like four. And it was real easy to put on. It's not, this isn't a how-to thing, but I just put that up there like that and traced around it and cut it out, boom. It goes up and down. You know, as it gets lighter, it comes on. And when it gets darker, it goes off. Or you can set it to whatever time you want it to uh, raise and lower. And that's what I did. Uh, I think I have it set for like 6 o'clock in the morning and then 8 o'clock at night. And all you do, it, it has this internal clock and you just come out and if it's 8 o'clock at night, you just push the button, hold it in, let it out, push it again, and it sets the time automatically, which is pretty cool no matter where you're at in the world, I suppose. So I like that uh, really, really well. But this is called a run chicken door. Now, the one thing that you make sure of, there are a lot of copycats and they look just like this, okay? You want to make sure if you get one of these... Let me show you something here I thought was kind of, this is kind of interesting. See that uh, little picture right there? It says run chicken here in this picture. That looks like a chicken running, doesn't it? Like that was done on purpose. Looks like one of those uh, ink blot tests. Uh, Rorschach or Rorschach or Peekaboo, Horshack. No, Horshack. That's Welcome Back Carter. Nope, not that one. Anyhow, that looks like one of those tests, those ink blot tests. That is actually the shape of the country that these are made in, called Slovenia. But it looks like that's where they came up with the name Run Chicken because that's what that looks like. So I thought that was pretty, uh, that's pretty neat. Anyway, it, it has an app that you put on your phone. There's a lot of other functions. I'm not going into all that, you know. But the bottom line is, I really like this door. Simple to put in. Takes up no space. You know, it's just very simple. Up and down. I like it. That was actually the first night, uh, first morning that they've actually came out that door when it went off. They're so used to me opening up that front, but when that went up, they came out. So that was the cool part. Oh, hang on, I gotta open up. Hey, oh, I'm sorry, they're all waiting for me. I gotta open up this part, don't I, girls? I'm sorry. There we go. Now you can go into the rest. Okay, go on. All right. I'm gonna get you some scratch here and I'll throw that in through the thing and then we'll, we'll go. Hot lips, get moving. Get moving, go, go. You're leading the way. You're leading the way. See your little back there? 
I don't know if feathers will ever go back on here. Doggone it. Let's throw some scratch in here. I didn't have any inside, so let's just put some in here like this. Here, girls. Watch that. Bombs away. There it is. All right, now let's go down here and take care of everybody else. Hi, ladies. Hi, gentlemen. How are you this morning? How are you? Hey, Smoke. You ready to go, honey? Let's go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, the chiggers. Chiggers make you itch, if I fail to mention that. Those of you who've never experienced chiggers and never will are very fortunate. Listen. Well, I've never had a greeting like that before. Hi, Magneto. Good morning, Gray. He ain't gonna let me get too close. He will jump down. We're sassy. Still sleeping? Yeah, I see sassy, I think, up in the top there, maybe. Hi, Gray. Here we go. I knew that wouldn't last long. Hi, honey. Hi. Oh, I touched her. Here we go. I know everybody's hungry this morning. Oh, my lands. Smokey's been eating odd times during the day. She doesn't just eat in the morning and then eat at night on cue. So I get all the goats taken care of. I'll go put her food. <laughs> oh, P-Dub. Oh, Mr. Fox. I'll put her food. Boy, their backs are raised this morning. Woo. Got the fur up big time. What's your deal? Look at that. Wow. So yeah, so Smokey's been eating at odd times. So I just, I get these guys going. And then I get Smokey her food and she'll just eat it whenever she wants. Batman, you got yours over there. Go get it. I put her food down in her hut and she goes down there and, and eats it just whenever she wants to. Cause I've been putting it up here Oops, I gotta get the littles their food. I've been putting it up here and it'll just sit there and I have to guard it and she doesn't eat it. So she just eats whenever she gets good and ready. Watch out, look out. Watch out, you got the zoomies. You got the zoomies this morning, Smokey. Did I see some zoomies coming? Here you go, boys. Here you go, boys. We started feeding them the same food we're giving, giving the big ones. Oh, here. Hang on, they like it. Seems to be working pretty well. Here we go, just a little bit more. A little bit. All right, that's good. Mario Luigi. There we go. <laughs> There's a trio right there. Okay, I'm coming, Miss Lola. Hang on, honey, I'm coming. Right here, babe. Come here, no, not the scoop. There you go. Let's get your water. Girlfriend, put in your food, shall we? All right. Whoa, don't tip it upside down. Don't tip it over. All right, let's go see the Cooney Coonies. Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie patooties. Watch out. Here comes, okay, let me in. There you go. Uh-oh, look out. Watch out. Oh, there you go. Gotta be fast. Gotta be fast. Gotta be quick. Gotta to be quick. The water. Well, you can switch, but it doesn't help you. Well, definitely, right now is you feel uh, it's just a, still the first week of September, but you can feel yeah, a little fallish in the air. Even though we got some, I think we got some high 80s, low 90 degree temperatures coming up. Now we should be getting into uh, I don't call it our rainy season at all, but we'll start having more rain end of this month and in October. The rains we've gotten here the last week has really greened things up. All right, girls, I'll be right back. Smokey, let's get you taken care of, honey. Come on, babe. Now we'll go down here because I got to get some hay there. They, and I tell you what, I had, oh, I put in three uh, squares. I call them squares. I know, flakes. I put in three pieces. I put in three pieces of hay yesterday. And they've eaten it all. That's what I like to see though. Come on, girlfriend. That's it. You got a little jump in your step there, don't you? That's a girl. That's a good girl. Let's get your food, honey. Yeah, Smokey's been staying down here in these porta huts. Goats have not warmed up to them yet. And I don't know why. Hey girl, there we go. This is what we like to do. We come between grandpa's knees. Yeah, and so we pet him like this. So we get to pet him. Just like that. So we get you petting like that, don't we? Come on, Smoke. Now the goats, if you notice, the goats are in tow. But I'm thinking if I put this food in one of these porta huts, they probably 
will not go in. For some reason, I don't know if they're intimidated by them still or what, but whoop, here we go. Got a little run going. Watch out. You ain't got the zoomies. You better to the couch. You're going to, them zoomies will hit you and you won't even know what to do. You're going to get the zoomies. Look out, it's happening. There they are. Here comes the zoomies. Watch out. Uh-oh. Where's Smokey? Where'd she go? There she is. There you are. Yeah. There you go. Got the zoomies. There you go. Come here. Did you get some zoomies? That's a girl. That's a girl. Come on, let's eat. Come here, babe. Okay. Now, she was in this one. Then she lays in this one. Right now, she can pick either place she wants. Sorry, y'all are slanted. It's a little slope. Watch out, babe. Here, let's put it. Oh! Did I hit my head again. That's a third time in two. Oh! Oh! Smoky. I've got to learn how to dock her. I got this bowl right here. See that bowl here? That black, I didn't know which, why she keeps dumping her food out. There you go, girl. Don't put that in there. There you go. That's your, there you go. Get that. Now watch her dump that out. Oh, man. Smokey, that was a ring-a-ding-ding -ding on my noggin. Here, come here. Here's your treats, honey. Here, you want your treats? Come here. Hey, Smokey, you want your treat? No, not you, knucklehead. The Batman's standing right there. Look at that. All right. So what am I going to do? I'll just get out. I don't know. Yeah, he's going to go in. Look at that. No. There's a problem right here. Get. Stop. Stop it. Stop. No. No. And here's the problem I have now. Here, Smoke, you eat your food. Here, you want your treats, honey? Eat your treats. That a girl. Come on. Eat them up. All right. I'll put them in your bowl. No, I won't. Oh, this is the problem right here. There's no way to segregate them at all. And Smokey only eats when she's ready to eat. That's why, you know, I, that's why I, I, and I know it looks cruel not to feed her. But at the same time, you do this. I don't know if she's excited because I'm here or what. Yeah, I know. But she just, uh, she's not ready. She won't eat right now. I guess you'll eat when you're good and hungry, huh? Now you guys ain't going in there. Yeah, now I've got two bowls of food. That is, uh, that's a little frustrating because she won't, uh, she won't fight them off. And I don't want her to. I don't have to, I don't want her to have to fight them goats off. I don't like that either. I'll, I'll put it up and then uh, I'll bring it back down, put it in there. And hopefully the goats will stay down here at some point. I don't know. I got an idea. I think if I get some hay for the goats, they'll eat the hay. Keep them away from here, and I'll put Smokey's food down. Let's go do that. Let me give me a minute. Well, here's what we're going to attempt. Now that they're, I went and got some hay and put it in there. Now I'm going to go see if I can't get uh, Smokey isolated in her hut down here. Her little, I'm going to call it doghouse. I'm not going to keep calling it Porta Hut. Let's go down here in her little doghouse. See if I can't get her to eat her food and them not follow me all the way down that would be the best thing right there let's give this a shot here let's get this out just hoping Smokey's hungry enough to go ahead and eat this stuff without the goats coming down I do not know all right Smokey hey girl let's try this okay let's get in here and Put this in here. Now the goats are down there. Oh, make sure you duck, Grandpa. There we go. Here, girl. Here, girl. There we go. Let's try that again. Go on, get in there. I'm going to leave it there for just a little bit. And I'll be back. But go ahead and eat it. Them goats are distracted. Go ahead and eat. Let's see if she goes in there. Okay, there she goes. Now she will, I'm going to let her go. She'll dump that out on the ground out of that bowl. I don't know why. But as long as she eats, I don't care. Look at here, check this out. When Kyle and Shannon came in the other night and had, uh, they were doing some training with Herc and the, oh, Mario and Luigi, he put those three pallets in here. And this is a bench that he built himself. That bench is gonna go with him. But uh, it's kind of a keepsake. But the, these birds love coming down into this third section and they'll hang out there all day long. This is their favorite spot. Well, didn't eat it, did you? Apparently not hungry enough. I don't know. Okay. Did the best I could. 
So they'll hang out in there. That's pretty cool. I'm going to uh, probably put another, I'm going to do the same thing in there and duplicate that and put a, two or three pallets in that middle one. That way we can have in each uh, area, there'll be something to kind of hang out on. Smokey, listen, I'm going to go back down here, pet the Cooney Coonies. You need to go ahead and eat. I just don't think you, you're just not hungry enough, are you, bud? Just not hungry enough, are you, honey? I get it. I get it. All right, let's go back down here. I always try to tell the Cooney Coonies good morning after they eat and give them a belly rub, and you know how that goes. Let's get on down here. Maybe Smokey, sometimes she'll turn around. She'll turn around and go back the other way. Plus, if I'm down here and she stays down there, hopefully the uh, goats will be less likely to go down when I'm down here. But yeah, they're all, four of them are eating, well, three of them are eating on the hay. Get in there, Foxy, eat some hay, buddy. I, I'd be honest with you, it's a little frustrating, you know. I, you know, if I led her into a place that I had all fenced off, which some of you are probably going, well, make a pen, fence her off. Well, if I put her in there and walk away and she don't eat, she's in a fence she can't get out of. So that really doesn't seem to be a viable option either. So I don't really know how to combat that. Uh, other than what's been working, if she's not hungry, I just don't really put any food out. And eventually the goats will come up here and hang out. And she's down there by herself. And that's when I feed her. And I'll just put the food in there. She eats what she wants. And that's how it goes. But not always in the morning are you going to be able to see me feed Smokey and give her her treats because she may not want to be, the, be hungry enough. Hi, girls. Hey, come here. Did we get belly ribs yesterday? I don't think we did. I don't think we got belly ribs yesterday. Oh, look how big y'all are getting. Okay, I can feel it coming. There's Olivia going down. There we go. Okay, which way you want to go? Knock your boom. Okay. There we go, girls. Well, we can't see the faces. The good people can't see the faces, but you know, this is, uh, this is the best we get. We get the hindquarters today. Oh boy, there we go. Now, how's that? Is that better? That's better. Pretty soon, Grandpa is going to be able to work on your fence. Not making any promises, but maybe this week, you think? Since it's cooling down, maybe this week he can work get part of that fence started. Hmm? Yeah, that way you can move in with Miss Lola. We can try. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I wonder if they'll do this when they're, I don't know, 100 plus pounds. Because right now, I guarantee you, I couldn't pick one of them up. There's no way you could pick them up right now and hang on to them. The fight would be on. There we go. Okay, girls. All right, I'll see you a little bit later. I know. See you later. Okay. Look at Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's it. Okay, there we go. I see, well, Grandpa gets belly rubs over. I need to go pet Miss Lola for a minute. Oh, she found the leftover. She found the scratch and the wormies that I threw down for Mag's Magneto. That's what happens when you don't, uh, don't get it. Hi, girlfriend. Hi, Miss Lola. Two different things of fur. I think, I guess she's... This coat here is coming off, this reddish stuff here. You know, what happened? Did I get you? You don't have an owie. What was that noise? What was that noise, Miss Lola? You okay, girl? Uh-oh, look out. Look out, here comes, here comes something. Here comes something. Yeah, you want your little pet? Yeah, Lola gets a little loving. It don't matter how big we are, Grandpa. It don't matter how big we are or how old we are. We still want, there we go. Oh, you're not going to roll over on your belly? I, I thought you were going. I thought you were flopping like a cooney cooney. Somebody asked how old she was the other day. I think she's one of the originals. So I, I think three years old, maybe close to it. Something like that. Yeah. Somebody also wanted to know how her fur compared to the uh, cooney coonies. You know, her fur is much more coarse. Now down here on the bottom where this is kind of I don't know if that's just kind of shedding, if she, how that, you know, she looks like a, you see what I'm talking about here. This fur down the bottom is coming in real black and coarse like, like she always is. And this up here is like it's changing or something. I don't know. But her fur and all is much coarser than, than the Cooney Coonies. We're going to let you in with the Cooney Coonies pretty soon, honey. Don't worry about it. We'll get you in there. Okay, 
You have a good day, and I'll see you a little bit later. So the goats are staying up there. I brought her food, like you said, I brought it down here. See that? Now see, she dumps the bowl over. Dumps it on the ground, eats it off the ground. I've tried two different bowls. That's just what she does, and so I'm gonna just uh, kind of go with that. As long as she gets some food in her, she knows at what pace, she knows how hungry she is. You know what, eat that right, girl. Yeah, eat that right. You know how hungry you are, but I think them goats, they're gonna stay down there because they'll take their morning nap, all right? So you need to get on in there and eat something, all right? All right, girl, go back in there and eat. All right, we're gonna, Grandpa's gonna eat some breakfast too, okay? We'll come back out and see you later. You know, there is one more thing. After feeding the animals, there is one more thing I need to show you. I need your opinion on something here. My garden, the zucchini's pretty much done. I got three cantaloupe here, one, two, three, four. They're not getting any bigger. They're not growing at all. One, two, three, four, five. I got five of them in there. They're not growing. The watermelon, one, two, three, four, five. I think I got one in the back. They're not growing either. In fact, that one's got little marks. That's where I, I turned it. But these stems are still green as can be. Now, I thought those stems, when they were ready to pick, kind of turned brown and this kind of something here turned brown, that turned brown, maybe that's time to pick. Maybe maybe that's all the bigger they were gonna get. That's not very big. Should I go ahead and cut those? Are they done? I got another, that's another, that's a sangria growing right there. I don't know how big it's gonna get, if it will. You know, we're pretty much late in the season here. You know, so I think that one right there is probably, that little thing there I think is, is, is turned brown. So maybe that means that one's done. Should I go ahead and just pick these? I ought to just take one and cut it open and see what it looks like, I guess. Tomatoes, kind of weird. Here's those hossinators. Some of them are still green coming up. The ones that do come red, got some cherry tomatoes to pick. You know, they're not, they're kind of looking kind of sad right now. And I think I've got some squash bugs still attacking these things and I haven't put any, any, uh, anything on them. So the tomatoes are just about done. Uh, also, if they turn red now, I'm probably kind of I'm just feeding them to the animals. The carrots, you know, I had them planted so closely. Well, you all were right, and I figured it probably would be. They growing so close together that they're not allowed to get bigger, so they're not they're just teeny tiny. So next year I got to be more careful. Don't spill the seeds. Anyhow, the garden. Uh, the only thing I got to get is those watermelon. I got a feeling I'm going to end up uh, just taking them as they are. <laughs> What are you doing? Look over there! Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey there! That's not your four-wheeler. Who does that belong to? Where'd... I don't know. It's some weak little thing that uh, I you... downgraded to. Where'd you get that? I don't know. My dad said I got a new gift today, and he just pulled up with this and said, hey! Really? Hey, it goes 49, by the way. It goes hot. Whoa. How fast does it go? You gotta be going downhill, but I got it up to 49 miles an hour. Did I tell you not to do that? You asked me. You know, I listened to my mom even when she was 85 years old. My mom didn't tell me not to. <laughs> well, your mom's not 85 <laughs> years old either. Don't tell her that. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, downhill you can get her to 49, but on the level you're at about 44, 45 maybe. 44, 45 level? Yeah. That's plenty, that's plenty fast. Oh, it's more than enough. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. It doesn't feel, yeah. you wouldn't ever want to do it. Kyle and I, we, took one four-wheeler. What have we done all day long? I know, all that. We took one four-wheeler that actually belongs to Chad, and we no. took it to have it worked on. Well, while we were out, we decided maybe since that one's gone, that I needed, I needed one. So <laughs> we may have told Grandma we were getting one. Maybe we didn't. She's way over there, though. Maybe. She's up on the porch. She's up on the porch right now, so we're going to roll this up. Yeah, so if she's really mad, then you just tell her it's mine. Okay, let's see what happens. And we're going to store it here. This is how we're going to end the video, by the way, and it could be the end of... I could be out there with Smokey. <laughs> in one of your little port huts and, and I could be out there with Smokey in a port hut hey, Somebody needs to use the other one. So, yeah, since the ghosts <laughs> won't go out there, maybe we'll get... <laughs>
You, I'll be, you're coming with me. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. With me. I'm sure, man. Yeah, well, let's well, I'll go. I'll take my new four hey, in there with us. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go tell Grandma the good news. All right. That's pretty, though, boy. I, it, you I know, pretty. You saw it. It off road. That's just pretty. Fine. It, it's yeah, we went and picked it up in a place. I can swear I heard banjos in the background. <laughs> yeah, we were right. We there, 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 there. Yeah, the guy. The guy tells me he's like, yeah, you can ride around. Uh, you know, that field over there, that field over there, we do. And then we get back and I said, so how many acres you got over there? Oh, that's not my field. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you trying to get a shot at? Yeah. Nice guy, but you got to yeah. warn us about those kinds of things. Let's no, go. Uh, he, he's friends with all of them. It wasn't, it was not, <laughs> not trespassing. Let's go uh, give the news to grandma that you had an idea and oh, spent oh, some oh. of her money. Oh, is that how, is that Let's how go. it went? Okay. Yeah, come on. Whoa, where's she going? Away from us. Oh my word. But we gave grandma a hard time. The truth of the matter is, we knew all along we were coming back with a four wheeler. Yeah. We'd already shopped around. And we'd already asked permission. We'd already asked permission. <laughs> grandma was in on it 100%. So yeah. I don't want to make grandma throw her under the bus or anything. No, so just the four wheeler. She was good to go, but we did get rid of that one. And I felt like we, we got, we'll have a, we need a four wheeler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. We need the one. Now, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. And. It's faster than both the chads. <gasps> That's important. Now, neither of you can touch Shannon and I on ours, but you're welcome to bring it out and try and play. Now you got to come rip the trails. Well, I'll do that, but yeah, yours is way too big. I, I can't, I can't handle that. I'm the old. I got to drive slow. But I'm going to drive that just like I do my yeah. truck. I'll lead the way, and when I'm all the way through the trail and I get back up behind you, then we can yeah. go your pace. Right. <laughs> okay, this is where the video ends. And I hope this is not where my staying in the house ends. <laughs> All right. So hopefully we'll, I'll, uh, I'll get to sleep indoors yeah, tonight. Yeah, your guest but, bedroom is taken, so. You know, hey, Grandma was all behind the, the uh, four-wheeler. She's 100% behind it. So we're looking forward to getting out on a little bit and, you know, messing around. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for going with me, man. Hey, appreciate thanks. it. I always appreciate enjoy it. it. Yeah, appreciate it. Hey, by the way, Shannon's behind the camera. Hi, Shannon. Hi. <laughs> What's it like to have a camera person for you? Well, I, it's kind of weird. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to. I, I, I don't know what to do with my talk, hands. You know, you, that, you talk with them normally, but if you got know. a camera in it. Yeah. This, this is this is exactly. new for you. Okay, if you made it this far in the video, good for you. Thank you all for watching. God bless you. So, what do we say? Forever and always. <laughs> until until next, next time. Until next time. Wait, one, two, on three. Oh man. Two, three. Until next time. Bye, everybody. See ya.